Welcome to Kids Fishing. Hi there and welcome to this episode of Kids Fishing and today we're going to learn how to tie the uni knot and this is a fantastic easy to tie knot for beginners to learn. It's a great universal knot, it can be applied to different types of fishing so let's take a look at the uni knot. Here we have the uni knot and the uni knot in a way is similar to a surgeon's knot because it wraps around the line and the advantage of the wrap is that it retains its strength so rather than creating a crossover knot which has the potential to reduce the breaking strain of the line the uni knot and the way that it wraps around the line and in fact it actually slides on the line so if, if you see how it's actually cinching up so it actually slides up and down on this line which means that it doesn't reduce the strength so let's look at how to tie a uni knot and here we have a fish hook and our line and we're just going to thread the line through the hook and pull the tag end down and create some overlap now the most important thing is to create a loop and to make sure that we do the loop in the right direction so here we have the loop and we've created a overlap between the main line and the loop and similar to the surgeon's knot this knot uses a wrapping effect and the great thing about this type of knot is that it retains most of its strength which is excellent so now we're just going to wrap the line through and we're going to do three wraps and we just pull the tag in down and as you'll see the knot binds up now it's important to make sure that we lubricate the knot, especially with nylon or fluorocarbon because you will damage the line with the heat friction from cinching up the knot. So do make sure you lubricate the knot before you pull it tight. Now one of the great things about this particular knot is it gives you a couple of options. You can leave the knot where it is and pull the tag end down and tighten that up and that will leave a loop which allows your hook or your lure to move freely and create some lifelike action. Alternatively, if you don't want the loop there and you just want to cinch it down, it's a matter of sliding the knot down to the hook, pulling the tag in tight, and there we have a cinched knot. When you're tying the uni knot, you will tie somewhere between three and maybe seven wraps through the loop and that depends on the type of line and the thickness that you're using so whether it's braid whether it's nylon or fluorocarbon and the thickness of the line itself because this is thick cord we're only doing three but if this was very thin nylon we would probably do something like seven wraps through our loop to create our uni knot so the uni knot is a fantastic knot because it's very easy to tie it has a couple of different tying methods in terms of an open loop or a closed up cinched knot so it's flexible it retains most of its breaking strength and it's a great beginner's fishing knot so there you have the uni knot now that we've learned to tie a uni knot i'd love to know your thoughts about this knot do you think it's a good knot for beginners have you taught your children to use it and what were the results? Leave your comments below and if this is your first time to kids fishing then I invite you to subscribe for more fishing tips and tricks and to follow our kids fishing adventures. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids Fishing. Kids fishing.